You gotta watch them. I got tails wagging right now. Hey, that's a little bit of dominance. Let them smell. You let them smell. Everybody get to know him. Tails down. This is the one I'm worried about. Hey. No. So when you bring a dog into your pack, hey, you've got to let them know, first of all, as an alpha, I'm going to protect this dog because I'm the leader. I'm the pack leader. So he's leaning on me, looking. he's looking for guidance. This one here is getting a little dominant. Hey. And the male, he really don't care. He knows Chris. That right, Hank, he knows Chris. And you see, the female I was worried about has just actually gone over and laid down. Here she is. This is Belle. And this one here wants to play, but playing, if you don't watch it, can lead to fights. Let them smell, let them get to know each other. Gotta watch her because she's a little dominant. Now, normally, act. See, she was putting her chin up on his back. When they do that, put the chin up here on the back, and they get up and try to mount them, that's a dominant thing. You can't let that. You're, you're the leader. Hey! Hey! She was getting a little forceful. He was. He was bearing his, his teeth a little bit. You've got to let them know that you're not going to let him hurt your pack, but you're also not going to let your pack hurt the new dog. You're the, you're the pack leader. They're going to look for you for guidance, and if you don't give it to them, they're going to take it. See, she's already submitted right now. She's trying to stay in frame with the camera. See, he's sniffing. In a few minutes, I'll drop the camera and let him run around the backyard. But I still have to maintain control. She's the one I have to worry about. Because if she goes off, then the whole pack will act on her, will act on her energy. Now she's laid down. She's good to go. That's how you do it. You can't have any fights at the gate. You gotta keep their energy down, make sure nobody's growling, nobody's bearing teeth, no hair is up on their back, and no tail is up. Like that tail about medium. You want you want it, you want it wagging in a half a fashion. And now they're just kind of ignoring her. Uh, ignoring him. Hey. And I use that Caesar claw, you know, if you ever watch Caesar Milan. I use that claw like a mama dog as a bite. For my correction, just a touch. Burn touch. Hey. No dominance. Hey. You can't let him dominate over the other dog. He was already barren teeth. Can't allow it as a pack leader. Hey! Ah. Now she's already laid down beside you, see? She's accepted. But playing can lead to fighting if you can if you let it get out of hand. I can probably just turn him loose right now. I'd like to have a long lead dog. I don't have a long lead it's out there. I'm going to go back to the fence to get my long lead, and then I'm going to bring them through again. Come. Chris, come. Back, back, back. they got a little gate dominance going on. Can't let them own the gate. you got to own it. Hey.
And they're gonna get a little excited. Because he's on the other side again. Hey! There they goes that female. Okay, now we're going to get out and act like dogs. Run the whole backyard. Four dogs at one time in my pack. Hey, Belle! See, you got to catch it. It's all about timing. Now, to anybody else, that word just looked like playing, but it's a dominant thing. There's no fights. That puppy gets a little rough, but it's just don't. It's wanting to play. But like I said, playing can lead to fighting. Hey! Hey! Stay around here. I'll go around front. Bear with me. I'm trying to film this myself. I don't have a helper. But see, he's checking things out. And as usual, the two females are all over him. Because they're the most dominant ones. Hank, my male, he's he's been trained to get along with other dogs. So really don't have to worry about him at all. How's it going, guys? Grizz. What you doing, Grizzy? And see. Now everything's kind of calm. But this is how you do it. You, you got to control the pack. As the alpha leader, the pack leader, they're going to feel your energy. And if it's not strong, they're going to do what they want to do. And you shouldn't have no hollering, no screaming. I raised my voice a little bit, but that's the drill sergeant in me coming out. I try to keep my energy low, but... I've been taught for so many years in the military how to use my voice inflections to give commands and it's just hard for me to do it. So when I say give a correction like, hey, it sounds like my energy is getting high. Get out of there. Get out of there. Come on, Grizz. Come on, Grizzy. Come on, Grizzy. Good boy. See, now everybody's happy. I don't have any fighting. Bell's still doing a little bit of 
got to watch her. It, it could it could happen any minute. Everybody's tail's down though. And see, she's going up on the porch. She's not even interested. Well, she is, but she knows I won't let her do anything. Hank, he could care less. He's just sniffing. It's that young female's the one you got to watch. And what happens is that if one triggers, then they all, as a pack, pick up on the energy and they all go off. See, now Grizz is by himself. And they're over here doing their own thing, sniffing. See? They know I won't permit it. I won't tolerate. See? I won't tolerate any fighting in my pack. And you as a pack leader, they're going to look for you to give that leadership. And if you don't do it, then the strongest member of the pack is going to pick up on that energy. And, sh and the strongest member of the pack... All right, look. Now, see, Bell is mounting him over there. Hey! Bell! That's a dominance thing. Bell! That's good. I want it. If nothing happens, I can't teach them. Hey! No! Now, see? Yeah, that's submit. Calm submit. There you go. All right, I got this little female still trying a little bit. But it's going to happen. You have to watch him. Hank's sniffing. He knows. He knows Grizz. He's worked with Grizz a lot. But that young female, this is the first time she's seen him. It's not the first time Miss Bell over there has seen him. But this is how you do it. This is how you control the pack. You don't permit any fighting. See, now that young female started to lift her leg up. When they do that, it looks like playing, but it's not. It's a dominance thing. It's minor playing, but can lead into a fight. Dominance. Ah! See, that one correction word I use is ah. It's kind of a southern thing. It means no. Or stop it. Or don't. Or hey. I do use the word hey sometimes. Hey! Hey! Belt! See? You gotta stop it. It's all about timing. I gotta give her a correction if she keeps this up. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. And keep in frame. Hey! Bell! Come! That's good puppies. All three of you turned around. That's good puppies. At least my training shows a little bit. Miss Bell gonna lay down. Hey! Little Miss Female. Echo. Quit that. Now Echo lays down. Bell lays down. And Grizz and Hank went on the porch for a drink of water. And Grizz, where you at? Grizzy! He says, I'm going to stay up there in the shade. And as you can see, everybody is calm and doing their own thing. It's because I wouldn't allow any fighting. Okay, thank you for watching this video. This is Sergeant Davies with K-9 Boot Camp Training. And I hope you enjoyed the video on how to introduce a strange dog into your pack. Hey, Bell! See, you just got to stay on it. And after a while, they get used to each other. Bell! Because they know you won't permit it. Stay strong and persistence and timing and energy is everything.